Of the Xiaomi 12s Ultra, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, and the Vivo X80 Pro. So, in, in today's video, I'm gonna do a video shoot up between all three of these phones. So, apologies if I'm dressed a little bit raggedy now in a tank top, but it's really hot in Hong Kong. It's like subtropical weather right here. So, I have to dress light, man, because, because if you watch my other camera shootouts, you see that I'm like drenched in sweat by the time I'm done because these shootouts take a lot of work, particularly since I'm shooting by myself. So, if you enjoy content like this, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. So anyway, this main camera footage, 4K30. Let's switch out to shoot from the side. So due to the nature of my setup, the stick that I'm holding right now, one of the phones, the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, is a little bit higher than the other two phones. So the framing is not exact. I apologize. Let me go up these stairs. I'm not going to run, but kind of, you know, go up kind of fast to see stabilization. So right now, just from my viewfinder, I see that the Xiaomi 12S Ultra has a little bit more bokeh around this plant than the Galaxy S22 Ultra for sure because, you know, much larger sensor on the Xiaomi, uh, one inch. So um, the Samsung and Xiaomi camera can also switch to the ultra-wide sensor in the middle of filming. You cannot do this with the Vivo device, unfortunately. So with the Vivo, I have to stop recording before I can switch to ultra wide which I have now done now you're watching ultra wide footage of all three phones going down the stairs how does it look right now and the sound you're hearing obviously is coming directly from the internal mics of the phone okay now let's take a couple of photos here at this uh, backdrop so we'll start with the Xiaomi 12s ultra first so we'll take a main camera ultra wide and then a five times zoom. We'll zoom into this, uh, this plant's uh, core right here. So next up, Galaxy S22 Ultra. Since the Galaxy S22 Ultra doesn't have a five times zoom, I would just zoom three times and then digitally crop in after. Now Vivo X80 Pro, main camera, ultra wide, five times zoom. Okay, so looking at these samples, the first thing I noticed is Xiaomi's color signs differs from the other two phones. If you look at Samsung Vivo shots, it's a little bit yellowy, whereas Xiaomi shots, it's cooler in temperature. I would say in real life, the lighting was closer to Samsung and Vivo's colors. If I zoom into the plants, I can see that Xiaomi shots looks a little bit more organic compared to Samsung Vivo. There's a lot of digital sharpening, like pay attention to the leaves. Look at the lines on the leaves, it seems a little bit exaggerated compared to on the Xiaomi 12 Ultra. And then we move to the bottom part of the photo, you can see again, Xiaomi's image has a cooler tone than the other two. And it also looks a little bit more natural. If you look at Samsung shot, that spiky little plant looks very soft on details. And then on Vivo, there's a little bit of digital over-processing. Moving on ultra wide, once again, you can see Samsung Vivo's color signs is way warmer than what Xiaomi has pumped out. Samsung Vivo's colors are more accurate. I gotta mention that the Xiaomi phone actually has two shooting modes. There's Leica Vibrant and Leica Authentic. And I'm shooting in Leica Vibrant. So that's Leica changing up the colors to make for a more visually appealing shot. And I gotta say, I agree. I think Samsung Vivo shots are way too warm. Okay, zooming in just to pixel peep these ultra wide shots, we can see that Samsung's ultra wide actually has the sharpest details compared to the other two phones. Next up, let's look at the zoom shot. So remember, Xiaomi and Vivo I shot at five times zoom, but Samsung I shot at three times zoom because Samsung doesn't have a five times optical zoom. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna then zoom in on all three photos until they're about the same size and examine. And you can actually see that here, surprisingly, Vivo's zoom shots is the sharpest. Another weakness of the Vivo X80 Pro is that when you zoom in, it is only digital zoom. The periscope zoom lens does not kick in. So when I'm zooming with the Vivo X80 Pro, I have now gone past 5x, five times, and it is still digital zoom. I can see it's pretty soft. Whereas with the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, once I get past five times, it will switch to the periscope. So right now, I am at 
the same focal length and now let's do the same with the Galaxy S22 Ultra. The Galaxy S22 Ultra doesn't have a 5x zoom obviously but when you switch to 3x it is optical it has switched to the, to the uh, telephone lens and I'll go up to 5x just to compare. So now you're watching 5x footage on all three phones you can see the Vivo footage is the softest. Okay so one of the things I noticed about the Xiaomi 12s Ultra's main camera is that the image sensor size is so large that the focus pane area is really small meaning if you take a photo the focus area is actually very narrow and anything in front of the focus area or behind that focus area will be blurred out as in bokeh that's a behavior of uh, typical real cameras like right now i'm shooting with my sony a7c and you notice that if i focus on the hair right here the face is blurred out if i focus on the face then the hair is a little bit blurred out because it's now in the foreground this is a very shallow focus pane the Xiaomi 12S Ultra's main camera does the same thing. So you notice right now, the focus is on the face, Sasha Bob, but his hair, the part sticking out in front, is a little bit blurry. And then maybe if I back out and tap focus on the hair, then you notice his face is blurry. So it's very tricky to get a shot right here with everything, with the face and this hair in focus. Now the Galaxy S22 Ultra, you will still get a little bit of separation, but not as strong. You notice the focus is on the hair now, but you can still see Sideshow Bob's face. Vivo shot is somewhere in the middle. His face is a little bit blurred, but the separation isn't as strong as Xiaomi's shot. This is another example of Xiaomi's main camera producing convincing bokeh. The focus right now is on the Sony camera lens and look at the camera body and the plants behind it. You see clear separation between the lens and the stuff in the background. It's a little bit blurred out with that bokeh. Now you look at Samsung shot, it looks a little bit more flat, right? The focus is still on the lens but the camera body is also clearly in focus. And Vivo shot again is somewhere in the middle. You get a little bit of bokeh but not as crazy strong as Xiaomi's. Okay, it's nighttime. I'm back in my apartment. I'm gonna turn off all the lights now and take a really low light photo. So, notice all three phones captured the shot pretty fast. Vivo did take a second longer. Maybe it turned on night mode. And then look at these samples. Damn, Vivo's shot is significantly more pleasing to my eyes and it's also properly exposed. Look at the light out the window and the light on my computer screen. Xiaomi and Samsung both overexposed my computer monitor a little bit, and Samsung's shot is just really dark and noisy. Now Samsung shot did not turn on night mode but neither did Xiaomi's photos. Xiaomi shot is just captured normally. But I think this is a clear win for Vivo. Okay I'm at the Hong Kong premiere of Thor Love and Thunder. I'm about to watch the movie but before that I'm about to test some selfies here. This is a moderate lighting. Wow okay I don't know what happened with Xiaomi's selfie but it's clearly the worst of the three. I think if I have to pick one I pick Vivo selfie. Okay, I'm gonna test out portrait mode here. I think all three of these portraits look pretty good with accurate edge detection around Thor's uh, body. Can't really pick a winner here, it's kind of like a tie. Okay, so we're gonna take a shot of this scene here because it's a pretty dark street and there's like a bright light. So it's like, good to see the contrast. So we'll shoot the main camera, ultra wide, and then we'll go up to 10 times zoom. So that's a Hong Kong snacks right there, fish balls, waffles. It's Okay, first Xiaomi shot looks pretty good. There's pretty nice contrast. Now Samsung shot looks pretty bad. It's quite noisy. Vivo shot has this really crazy HDR that everything is perfectly balanced, but it looks a little bit fake. Like the lights look almost a little bit too neat. Now it's more apparent when you look at all three of these shots side by side. Samsung shot is the worst. Vivo shot technically is sharper and cleaner, but I think Xiaomi shot keeps the mood of the night a little bit better. But I think Vivo's HDR is just uncanny, man. It's mostly the same story with the ultra wide. Xiaomi's ultra wide is pretty solid. Samsung's ultra wide looks terrible. And Vivo's shot just has uncanny HDR. It's everything is perfectly balanced. Look at the lights at that store. Now look at 10 times zoom Xiaomi shot is pretty good. You can actually read that menu pretty clearly. But it looks a little bit noisy down below, like where all the workers are at. Now Samsung Zoom is a little bit better. You can read the menu clearly again, but then the store down below doesn't look nearly as noisy. Vivo Zoom Shot doesn't take in as much light and you can see everything is a little bit noisier with more digital processing. Okay, so you're watching main camera footage with the, the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, Ultra, Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, and the Vivo X80 Pro.
So this is the Hong Kong Harbor, but it is after hours, so it's a little bit darker than usual. Okay, so I'm also switching on to the ultra wide camera. Okay, so now you're watching ultra wide video, ultra wide video footage at night. So here I'm going to take some photos of the Hong Kong Harbor and all three shots look great. They're sharp, there's almost no noise and colors and dynamic ranges on point. Even when I zoom to 300%, all three photos still look good. It's really hard to pick a winner here. Now in this set of low light photos, it's a little bit easier to tell who wins. I think Vivo's shot is the sharpest and most crisp. Look at Samsung's photo, there's actually a lot of noise, particularly on the left side of the frame. Look at the trees. Xiaomi's shot is pretty good but look at the lights it overexposes a little bit compared to vivo once again hdr perfectly on point and then moving to ultra wide vivo's ultra wide again produces the best shot samsung's photo is again really noisy and xiaomi's shot has this yellow glow around the lights okay it's 3 51 a.m right now and i am still editing this video but the good news is i am just about done i just need to give my conclusion here and then export the video, put it on YouTube, and then I can finally go to sleep. So, I think ultimately, so far from these photos, I still think Vivo X80 Pro is the best camera. Now, the Galaxy S22 Ultra has the best zoom, but the Vivo X80 Pro consistently has the best exposure and best colors. I do think Xiaomi's camera feels the most like a real camera because of that shallow depth of field. And in some of the shots, you get really strong contrast, unlike Vivo, where every shot it's perfectly balanced to the point that it almost looks a little bit fake but one more thing to note is that i'm one of the first people to have the xiaomi 12 s ultra right now it hasn't really gone on sale so the software on the phone right now is really early software and who knows maybe after a couple of software updates xiaomi's camera will improve we know that xiaomi's camera hardware is the best right now but i think for camera software vivo is still in the lead right now but that's just my opinion i know this video wasn't the most like technically in depth but please cut me some slack please keep in mind that i'm doing my youtube channel entirely on the side i have a full-time job so that's why i have to work till 4 a.m to do these videos because i can only do it after i get off my day job so if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel it will help me a lot so anyway that's about it for this video i'm gonna have more content on the xiaomi 12s ultra coming up i'm gonna upload this and then i'm gonna sleep thanks for watching